tips. Hello. I'm on the floor today. And that's my dog. Hello. So I thought what I would start doing is whenever I have an art tip that crosses my mind, I thought I'd make just quick videos uh, whenever I hear good advice or I come up with an art tip in my brain while I'm drawing or I come across a cool material or something. I think it, cat, I think it would be good to just kind of pass on that information so that other people can do it and they don't have to spend the time uh, trying to find it on YouTube or finding it anywhere. I mean, I guess this is on YouTube, but uh, I'm trying to, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to make things. Basically, whenever I have an idea about art or I hear some good advice or have something cool, I'm going to show it off and be like, hey, you should try this out if you want to be a good artist. So what I think this one today is I'm going to talk about a really good cheap sketchbook if you want to doing, if you're doing inking and if you watercolor and stuff but you don't quite have the money to throw down but you kind of want a smooth surface to work on uh, I have a sketchbook from a long time ago that I've decided I'm gonna start working in again uh, so the sketchbook in question is this one this cheap piece of good happiness this cheap piece this ch this cheap piece of good stuff right here this is the master's touch uh, fine art sketch pad, and these are super, super duper, super duper cheap, and it's good for experimentation with watercolor, uh, watercolor inks, really anything. You can just slather this stuff on here. I, I had this from a while ago, and I got it for I think an art class. There's nothing really in it because I tore out the the old drawings because I want it for something specific. I like it. I, I, I didn't really use it then because I was like, oh, it's a cheap sketchbook. I don't like the spiral bounding. This is, I want a better sketchbook because I'm not a big fan of spiral bounds, but uh, this one is, this one's okay, I guess. Now, the reason I felt like I needed to point this one out is because there's a lot of broke artists out there and they, they really want to practice different types of mediums and they don't have a lot of money. These are so incredibly cheap and they work so well and I will do an experiment here so I can show you that. I'm on pain meds right now. But first let's go over price. Price! This one is $10.99 but if you go to the, the, the Hobby Lobs or the Moxels or Michaels you can uh, get it for like six bucks. And this is a nine by twelve which is you know, pretty decent for like six six bucks or so and then they even have different sizes like this one if you get online on the hobby lobby or you get it uh, somewhere else it's only like eight bucks and this is huge you can do so much practicing and experimentation with this this is really a good practice sketchbook if you really want to get your hands dirty and start playing with watercolors and inks and stuff uh, it's it's just so good. It's just it's just so good. And I didn't use it before because I was like, oh, it's a crappy sketchbook. It's not expensive and nice. <laughs> now a lot of people want to think to get this sketchbook because it says it says accepts all dry media, which makes you think, oh, I can just use pencils and charcoal on it, which is they're good. You can do that, but this is for really people who want to just slap it, just slap, just put the put the art on a page. They want to they want to put some different stuff on there. I feel like I'm going in circles. If I could stop talking in circles, get this sketchbook. I'm going to do a, a, a test demonstration right now of how good this super cheap ass sketchbook is. Now that we got our materials, let's... Let's test out this bad boy. We got leaking on me because that was a stupid move, but we're going to start off with getting some, get some ink on your fingers. You just going to block the fingers. I think we're going to start off with first, as soon as it stops messing me up, we're going to start off with first are these cool uh, repair graph pens. These are great pens. If you can get them, get them. They're really nice. So we're going to start with the nice pens first. We're going to just get them some mixing lines. We're just going to make a, make a line or two, or one really long squiggly one. So you got that one. We're going to just do some different uh, widths and stuff. And we got a thicker one right there. And you, see, you know, this one's not the huge test. This one's just kind of doodling. It's a bigger, so you got a thicker line. Uh, I don't know how much I like the thicker lined ones now. I like the thin ones because they're good for details. But I'm another tool that I like. Here we got these. Saber Castle, which are some great, they're pretty decent brush pens. Uh, this is the, the big thick one. I had a bunch of these, I used to draw with these a lot. So let's go ahead and just, we're gonna, we're gonna just, uh, we're gonna just uh, draw a little guy right here. We're gonna pull these on have ear and everything. Look at that, look at that. Oh, oh, big old nose. And then his uh, eyebrow. No, those are his eyes, he's happy. Then we're gonna go over here, gonna go over there. And a big old smile. And a big old double chin. Look at that, that's a happy photo right there. He's, he's so happy, 
he, he got the sketchbook when he was younger. He has good memories with it and everything. That's why he likes the sketchbook. Don't give him the sketchbook. I promise I can draw. Another cheap thing that I think artists should use right at the beginning, just because they're fairly inexpensive, kind of, is, is the Sharpies. They bleed through a lot, which is not fun. So we're going to go ahead and we're gonna give him a thought bubble. And he's going to say, what's he going to say? That's like a thick thought bubble, just to broadcast this. I really make this line thick. If this bleed through, it'll be really better. Speech bubble. That's a good, that there's a good speech bubble. Now we're going to get into probably my favorite tool I have gotten thus far. It is a brush pen. These weigh a lot of ink. This is just like an Indian ink, too. So what we're going to do is we're going to test this out by... Let's write a little message. Cheese. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Just, sometimes you make mistakes. We're going to put a little... We're going to put a little, little thing, which kind of shows you the versatility. <laughs> the versatility of this. Uh, cheese. We're going to put cheese. Make sure I spell it right. Cheese. <laughs> Why is that? You like that? Cheese is this. He really wants to know who's cheese is. Let's go ahead and make that capitalized. We're gonna go ahead and make that capitalized. Exclamation mark. He's asking who's cheese is this. And these are crazy when it comes to bleeding. I have had experience with. I can't usually just put these on any any sketchbook. But these are the Copic markers. I love Copic markers. They're fun for like quick quick colored applications. These are pretty bad with the leaking through. So we're gonna do the small one first. Let's just go. I didn't like how dirty that line was. So we're gonna go ahead and just make this nicer. So you can do these really thick lines. And that kind of looks a little better. Just, mm, don't know why I did that. Fill in this bigger. I want to make it even bigger. Why not? This is a really cool one because it's super big. You can do these kind of big old grandiose. Woo! This one might leak through. I, I would not be surprised if it let leak through. I like how these kind of, if you lose pressure a little bit in certain spaces, it kind of leaves these weird little, little scratch marks. But these are really good if you need to fill in a lot of space, but they do use a lot of ink. Just a ton of ink. Alright. Hey, we're going to do something kind of crazy next. We're going we're gonna to spray it with water. Just kind of spray it around. Spray it around water. Boop, boop, boop. And then we're going to take just a little jar of India ink that I have here. This is Speedball. I think it's, it's cheap, but it works. I'm all about the cheap, cheapness that works. So we're going to go ahead and boom. Oh, wow. Boom. We're going to just kind of give them some, uh, some atmosphere here. This is really cool, but I don't know if I'm going to leave it like this. But because I only have so much time to record this, so I'm going to do that. And then we're going to go ahead and blot it up real quick. And then we'll see. Make sure it didn't, ble <laughs> didn't bleed through. It might have. I'm, I, my biggest fear is that it's going to bleed through in this whole tutorial. It's going to just be a waste of time. When I tested it earlier, just to make sure, just to give you a little behind the scenes, it did not bleed through, but I don't think I went this viciously at it. So this is, if anything's going to bleed through, it's going to be this really watery stuff. Like if you use some watercolor inks, anything with a lot of moisture, it will usually bleed through on a cheap, on a cheap, uh, uh paper like this. So, this. so now he has this crazy, scary background. This is a, <laughs> this is a weird piece. I know I'm probably not going to keep it. Uh, if you want to buy it, let me know. We're going to, we can get this. We can make a million on this, I think. A material that's not in a lot of art. But people just hang with it. It's pretty cool. We got copy here. I think he's a, he's a little too black and white. You know, he's a, he's a crazy guy. He loves cheese. He wants to know who cheese it is. Uh, just so he can get them their cheese and possibly share some of the cheese with them. But what we're going to do, we're going to dip this in here. And we're going to just kind of put it out. We're going to get a little skin color, you know? We're going to put a little skin color on, you know? It's not a whole lot. Just a little bit. I don't even know if you can see the camera. I'll just see in a second. We're going to go ahead and paint that on there. It's also kind of show you how to use it. You can show you that you can paint with a brush too, I guess. And you want to let the ink dry if you're doing this. Or don't let the ink dry. Just kind of put it on there and splash some coffee on there. What's the worst that can happen? It's good. Remember, this is a sketchbook for purely experimentation purposes. We're going to go ahead and really spread it out there. So you just got a little bit of skin tone. It's not too dark. This isn't a dramatic image, as, as you might believe. So there. <laughs> see? There's a little skin tone. Look at him. Just one last check. A little bit of this side. I mean, look at it! I just sh I moistened it super deep. And it, it is so moist. It's just so moist. It's just a great freaking sketchbook. Like I said, like it's, it's moist right now, so it's all bent and weird. But I'm gonna get a close-up shot just to show you. Look at this. Look at it. It's really not bleeding through at all. That's not what you expect from an eight dollars skate or seven dollars six dollars sketchbook. You just don't get that. It's such a good sketchbook. Get it if you can. Handsome little fella. Oh, Look at him. He just wants to know whose cheese this is. Is this? Whose cheese is this? He's got a little kind of got a soft, soft skin, soft, got, got soft skin tone and everything. It's so much botchiness and stuff. It's, it's a fun sketchbook. Get your damn ass in sketchbook, you damn ass. So that was fun. Uh, I'm not gonna, these aren't gonna be a regular thing as these little art tip videos aren't gonna be a regular thing because I don't, I don't really want to plan them out. I just want to be spur of the moment. Whenever you, whenever I have an idea, then you'll have an idea if you watch these videos. And that's, uh, that's, that's, that's pretty much it, you know? That's, that's, that's pretty much it.